Well, today concludes Apple Month here on Small Batch Big Taste. And we've had some yummy, delicious apple recipes. If you've missed any of them, I'm gonna link to them in the description below and you can find them up there. But today's recipe is for small batch apple cake. It is enough cake, we're gonna do it in a five by five baking dish to feed two to four people. This recipe was my mom's recipe and it was her go-to fall dessert. It was the one that she took to every party, the one that was always requested that she bring. So I've taken the recipe and I've reduced it down into a small batch size. It just tastes and smells like fall to me. Now I know a lot of people say, you know, pumpkin spice is the flavor of the fall season, but for me personally, it's apples and cinnamon and this cake has that apples, cinnamon, it's tender, it's moist, it's delicious. We're gonna add some ice cream and caramel sauce. It's a good one. For our cake, we have in our bowl here a quarter cup of salted softened butter. And I'm gonna add in a half of a cup of granulated sugar. And then I'm just gonna use my electric hand mixer and we are going to mix that up till it's nice and fluffy and creamy. All right, after that's nice and combined and fluffy, we're gonna add in one egg and a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, and then just take your mixer, mix that up. All right, now for our dry ingredients, we're gonna use three fourths of a cup of all purpose flour. We're going to use a half, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder, eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And this is gonna make this cake taste like fall. All right, then just take our mixer, mix that together just until the dry ingredients are all combined. All right, and then get this out of the way. We're gonna add our apples. Now for this one, I am using a Granny Smith apple. Um, you could use a Honeycrisp, whatever apple you have on hand. I like a tartar, a more firm apple. I think they bake up better and then the sugar in the cake kind of offsets the tartness of the apple. So I have a three fourths of a cup of just diced up small peeled cord Granny Smith apple that we are gonna add in. And then I'm gonna take just a wooden, a wooden spoon. Let me wash it off here. And we're gonna just fold that apple in. Okay, I've got my five by five baking dish. Now, if you don't have a five by five, but you have a six inch cake pan, you could use that. It's just gonna be a little bit thinner, so the baking time will be a bit less. So I have greased this. I'm gonna add our cake batter in. There we go. Let's kind of spread it in, get it a nice even layer. And then we are going to bake it in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. All right, the apple cake is out of the oven. It smells divine. A um, Couple different ways you can serve it. Sometimes you wanna just keep it nice and simple. You don't have to do anything. Just serve it nice and warm out of the oven or you can let the cake cool, garnish it with a little powdered sugar. So good that way. Or if you wanna get fancy, now you can cut this into two or four pieces, just depending on how hungry you are. I'm gonna cut it into four today. But my mom always served it with caramel sauce. And this is that small batch caramel sauce we made a few weeks ago. I'm gonna to link to it up there. It is the perfect way to serve this apple cake. Just drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. And you could also add some ice cream. You could add some whipped cream. It is delicious any way you serve it. I hope you've enjoyed all these small batch, single serve apple recipes we've done this month. Come back because next month I got another fun surprise in store for you.